Hello everybody, welcome to Biblical Sexual Purity. My name is Hosanna David. I saw a story online. It is a very hard breaking one. A girl who is just 15 years old got missing a year ago. And according to dailymail.co.uk, uh, a man named Christopher Johnson, who is 30 years old, had already made 58 videos from this girl of child of 15 years old and the videos are already online being watched by millions of people and he was arrested just think about two days ago or about six days ago this is so heartbreaking children are getting missing a lot of children you go to facebook you see a lot of announcements children getting missing many of these children are being held as sex slaves they are being used and filmed abused they post these things online they could be pretending to be happy because there could be somebody threatening them threatening them to kill them if they do not cooperate they could be carrying diseases like this little girl now she wasn't named she said that she was taken for to an abortion clinic and she committed abortion so much evil going on in the world why am i doing this video apart from sounding a warning to evil doers that the judgment of god is going to come upon them i also want to let all those who view porn porn addicts especially christians who go online or buy dvds whichever way and watch porn on facebook because facebook now there are pornography pornographic uh, write-ups and videos and pictures on Facebook now. Facebook is more or less an adult site. It is no longer rated 12. I can't even allow my child to uh, be exposed to those things on Facebook. I'm going to do a video to expose some of these things another time. If you are a Christian and you watch pornography, you don't know that you are bringing a curse upon your head. If you are addicted, seek for help. This is why some of us are online, to help those who need help. If you watch pornography, know that you are bringing a curse upon your head. Apart from that, you are aligning yourself to demons who will torment your life. You are bringing a curse upon your head because these people are in pain. Many people are, are facing self-trafficking and then uh, they have been trafficked to places they can't escape. They are just sex slaves. All they do is they feel them and then face the camera while somebody sleeps with them. They are being abused. I can't even imagine my 15-year-old girl being abused to this extent. Millions of people are watching her. Evil people destroying the lives of these people. Some are adults, some are children, but how could you derive pleasure from the pains of others? Are you a sadist? The Lord is going to judge all this. The Bible says that so that people will not commit fornication. Let every man has his, have his own wife and every woman his own husband. If you don't have, self-control becomes your wife. Self-control and the grace of God becomes your husband. But if you go online and start watching those who are being abused, or probably those who are frustrated and they feel that the only way to make both ends meet is to uh, 
abuse themselves and you derive pleasure from the pains of these people, the Lord is going to judge you. Statistics show that a lot of men, majority of men, view pornography. It has become a cancer, even in the church and in our society. People's brains have become so hyper-sexualized because of pornography. It, it is no longer anything that is bad. It's kind of morally right to people. They say there was a time we uh, did the uh, biblical sexual purity, uh, conducted a street interview. Who we are asking people? The video is already online. You can watch it. Uh, is it right for couples? To watch pornography a lot of people said yes that it is right that so long as they are adults they can watch it there are implications remember that whatsoever thing whatsoever thing a man sows that is what he is going to reap if you sow evil you will reap the evil if you need help seek for help uh, personally the lord has called me into this i've done a lot of research People reach me, and your secrets are safe. I delete images, uh, I delete messages, emails, any form of message. Immediately, I finish reading, reach the person, I delete them. I don't keep them because a lot of people don't want to come out because they feel somebody is playing. We, we play with their secrets. No, it is a ministry that the Lord has given to me. If you need help, please seek help. If you are a woman. You don't like sleeping with your husband and he's, he's into pornography, God is going to judge you. If you are a man and you deny your husband sex and you push them into pornography, God is going to judge you. If you are married and you are bringing this thing into your bedroom, God is going to judge you. If you are unmarried and you are watching these things, God is going to judge you. If you are abusing children and you are recording them, God is definitely going to judge you. Remember that Jesus Christ is coming soon and he will bring everything, everything, both good and bad, under judgment. Biblical sexual purity has been registered with Corporate Affairs Commission under Eagle Eye Opener Global Outreach. And uh, we're doing our best to reach out to the world, a lost world. A world that is soaked in sexual immorality. Visit our websites, biblicalsexualpurity.com and eagleeyeopener.com. Eagle Support us in any way you feel like supporting us. Thank you. Share this video and God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.